The U.S. dollar and the stock market continue to be under a little bit of pressure this week as anxieties are rising over the fate of the tax cuts with so many investors uh, are putting so much uh, expectation into. And I've gone over uh, many times on this podcast why I do not believe the tax cuts are going to help the economy. I mean, tax cuts are good for the economy to the extent that they reflect a smaller government. Right? If you are going to make government smaller and government is going to be less of a burden on the economy, if government is going to take fewer resources out of the economy, freeing those resources up for the private sector, if you're lowering people's taxes because you relieve them of the responsibility of paying for a larger government, that is a big positive. Anytime we can take resources out of the government sector and put them back into the private sector, those resources will be used more efficiently and more productively, and the economy will be better off. But if we simply cut taxes, but allow government to get bigger and bigger, that is not good for the economy, because we haven't diminished the size of government or the amount of resources it is consuming. All that's happening is the government has to find an alternative source of paying for the resources it is using. And if it's not going to collect it through taxes, well, it's going to have to borrow it. It's going to have to print it. And those other ways of sucking up those resources do more economic damage than what otherwise would have been the case if they had just left taxes alone. So everybody is wrong in believing that these tax cuts are going to be good for the economy they are not going to be good for the economy, and they're certainly not going to be good for the dollar. They are the exact wrong thing that you would do if you wanted to help the dollar. They will specifically hurt the dollar because, by definition, instead of removing dollars from private citizens to spend them, the government is going to print money out of thin air and spend that. So they are creating extra dollars. They are going to be debasing the dollar. But putting that aside, there is still a lot of, you know, uh, nervousness out there about whether or not the tax cuts will pass and in what form they are going to be.